Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. My vanilla lattes and welcome back to Warriors on my channel. I'm feeling very relaxed and happy to be spending some time with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lori Latte. It's so very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. So today, you guys, I'm going to be brewing a pot of coffee. But I'm going to be using my percolator. doing a percolator of coffee for my dear friend Jeannie B. ASMR. And this is my parents' percolator, you guys. They used to use this to brew coffee the old-fashioned way when I was a child. And this is where my love affair of coffee began, right here, you guys. So a couple of weeks ago, My dear friend Jeannie B uploaded a video where she was flipping through a Woman's Day magazine and they were advertising one of these percolators. And Jeannie's never had coffee made this way. And she's wondering what it tastes like. So today I'm gonna brew a pot of coffee for you, my dear friend. I'm gonna make hot latte because I don't remember I don't remember what the coffee tastes like before I do that I'm gonna grind up some coffee beans first I'm gonna put this to the side I thought we may as well go first class here have some fresh coffee beans here that I bought at HEB. And these right here are actually Bavarian hazelnut. Look how beautiful they're so I love this. They smell amazing. And Jeannie just moved back to Texas. My big sister just moved back to Texas. So you can now shop at H-E-B. Jeannie B. I got these at H-E-B, which is a grocery store here in the great state of Texas. And just in case you didn't know, I reside in the great state of Texas, you guys. So look at how lovely. Look at how lovely these beans look. And they smell, they smell just amazing. So, this is my Hamilton Beach coffee grinder. Roger got it for me about a month ago. So I'm gonna gently I'm going to finish this off camera because it does make a little bit of racket and I'll be right back. Okay, so the coffee beans are ready, y'all. 
isn't that lovely and it smells delicious I'm gonna put this to the side for right now so let me introduce you to the family percolator you guys now being a coffee connoisseur and loving coffee as much as I do this is it right here all right I'm lazy and so I don't use it very often to make coffee, but when I was a child, my parents would use this to brew coffee. The whole house would smell delicious, all right? They'd break out the china to put the sugar and the milk in so they could serve their guests, all right? This is very vintage. They may have purchased it at the end of the 1960s, okay? The fascinating part about a percolator is this little glass topper because when the coffee is brewing it shoots up right here and you can see the water turning from clear to coffee brown okay so here's the lid let me show you the inside of it This right here is where you put the coffee grinds. See the coffee goes right there. You put this lid on. And this part connects to the bottom. There's the indicator line of where you, if you're going to make six cups or eight cups of coffee and this this gets connected inside here so the first thing I'm gonna do is you see that's the inside I'm gonna pour the water in here and this is an electric percolator okay I have the cord right here it still works you guys so I'm going to get some water. I think I'm going to make six cups, you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. I'm going to store the rest in the fridge so I can make my iced coffee in the morning. that. The next thing I'm going to do, y'all, is I have to put the coffee right in here. Let me pause this video so that I can get the coffee out of the coffee grinder. Hold on. I have the coffee right here. See, this comes right out of that coffee grinder. It's so convenient. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go for it right here. Now I'm going to have to scrape the rest of this out of the bottom. Okay, so I'll be right, right back. Okay, the coffee's ready now. See the indicator line at the bottom? That's for six cups. And this line on the top is for eight cups. We're going to go for six. Let me put this together. We're going to drop it. just connected the percolator and I'm going to tell you something y'all. Hold on. I'm going to tell you something about these electric percolators. They made these to last and they made them to work like a charm. All right. As soon as you connect this sucker in, 
to the socket, it immediately, immediately starts to brew the coffee. This is no joke, and the funnest part of this video is going to watch this brewing the coffee, y'all. This is the magic right here. This is the magic right here, you guys. You have to understand if you do the math, this is, let's just say they bought this in 1968, roughly. This is almost 55 years old, y'all. Just call it, this is a 55 year old percolator. And look how quickly and immediately it started working as soon as I plugged it in. right now that it's clear the water's still just clear but it doesn't take long to make the pot of coffee This sucker gets really hot. The surface is extremely hot. You see it's still clear, it's still clear, but it's starting to foam up. Oh my goodness, I can already smell it. You see the steam coming out. The aroma's already there.
See how it's turning brown now. It's getting close. Now these percolators, they don't have switches, y'all. You don't need a switch. When it's done, it's going to slow down and it's going to stop shooting the coffee up through the little pipe. You see how it's slowing down? it's ready you guys hold on hold on do you see how it stopped it's ready okay all the coffees ready to go I grabbed one of my favorite ceramic tall coffee mugs and this was a gift it was a birthday gift from Jeannie B to me enjoy life isn't that beautiful so I took the liberty of boiling some milk and if I make a mess pouring it I'll clean it up y'all okay so that happens every time There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour the coffee. There it is. And I'm going to get some sugar. some brown sugar right here because I like my coffee sweet you guys okay don't come for me don't come for me alrighty now I'm gonna get a pinch of creamer This is the Southern Butter Pecan Delight Creamer. Okay. Let me give this a little stir. I honestly haven't had a cup of coffee made with my percolator in maybe maybe going on two years I know that's terrible este es lo que le dicen en español un café lechero ok es leche hervida le vas a agregar el café hervido azúcar y vas a preparar un café muy sabroso y muy delicioso this is an old-fashioned cup of coffee before they used to call it a latte, okay? Okay, now, the moment of truth. I just want you to take a moment of appreciation before I take a sip out of it. Mmm. Oh my 
goodness. Do you know that that's just the way I remember it tasting when I was a child? This coffee is absolutely robust. It's smooth. It's hot. It's delicious. Okay. There's no machine in existence today. I can brew a coffee pot better than this right here. Of course, that's my opinion. Okay, now, Jeannie. You should be able to get a percolator without any problems, without paying an arm and a leg. You're going to have to shop around. You're going to have to look around. If I had one to give you, I would, my friend. Okay. But the coffee just tastes so delicious. Okay. You're going to have to try it for yourself. Okay. Look how hot that is. Look at that nice color. Of course, you don't have to fix it the way that I do. You can fix it just the way you like it. You can drink it black. I'm going to pour a little more coffee out just because I want to see that lovely color. I want you to see what the coffee looks like. Do you see this? I want you to see what it looks like without all the milk. Do you see how robust? Wonderful. Look at this. Do you see this? You can use any ground coffee beans in this percolator. Look at that beautiful color. You can drink it like this and add a little sugar and milk. You can drink it black. Look at how beautiful that is. Let me smell it. There's not a coffee house in the world that's going to smell better than my house does right now. I'm not kidding. So that concludes today's video. I really encourage you to get one of these, Jeannie, and if you do, please do a video. I would appreciate it. I'll catch up with you guys later.